Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jake from today's iPhone.com and here's a wrap-up of this week's biggest stories. Okay, so let's start off with some application news and uh, the App Store didn't really have the best week. Uh, first, there were issues with about 70 applications updating. Uh, if you updated any of these select applications, then uh, they would crash and they would be buggy and they wouldn't work. And it seems that the problem was with Apple's DRM server. Uh, the applications weren't like encoded properly or something, which means they weren't compatible with the DRM software that Apple has, so then uh, the applications would just shut down when you tried to open them. Uh, this is not a fault of the developers of the apps, it is Apple's issue. So it affected the apps for a day or two and then Apple fixed it, so that's good news, I guess. And also, it seems that Apple let a Trojan horse into the App Store. The application called Find and Call not only sent spam text to people in your phone book, but it also uploaded your whole phone book to a remote server. Now, the application has since been removed, and if you do still have it on your device, I'd advise you to delete it immediately. But, yeah, all in all, the App Store has seen better weeks. Now, speaking of applications, the developer of the insanely popular Tiny Wings app uh, sent out a tweet this week that had the trailer for Tiny Wings 2, which will come out on July 12th. Now, it's pretty difficult to tell from the trailer what, if anything, is new about the game, uh, other than the fact that it is Tiny Wings, it has the familiar graphics and the gameplay and music and stuff, and it will come out on July 12th, and personally, I'm incredibly excited. Uh, I finished all the achievements in Tiny Wings 1, and I was just really hoping for like an update or something to uh, add a little bit more achievements and goals to the game, but we're getting a whole new game instead. So definitely keep a lookout for Tiny Wings 2 in the App Store, and we'll keep you up to date with reviews and demos and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. Okay, moving right along in iPhone 5 news, the next generation iPhone is reportedly going to rock the A6 processor, which will be powered by Samsung's Exynos 4 architecture. Well, according to DigiTimes, that is. Now, definitely take this with a grain of salt, because DigiTimes has been known to get these things wrong in the past, uh, with nothing more than industry sources to provide this information. Uh, nothing is certain, but it would make sense for Apple to make a major jump in the processing power, especially if the next iPhone will feature, you know, LTE and a bigger screen and all that stuff that really needs a lot of power behind it. And, uh, you know, the A5X processor is more of an incremental upgrade. And I think it's definitely time to see the next generation of Apple custom processors. Okay, really quickly, I feel like I should mention the iPad Mini just because it got a lot of traction this week with huge news sources. More specifically, the Wall Street Journal said that Apple is working on an iPad Mini model to be released sometime pretty soon. If this pans out, it's going to feature a screen that's probably smaller than 8 inches, as well as a much smaller price tag. Uh, now, it is worth noting that the Wall Street Journal isn't in fact it has gotten things wrong in the past regarding, you know, the next-gen iPhone and the Apple TV, uh, but this is a major news source reporting on this, so it definitely is worth talking about. Um, that being said, I, I'm i having a lot of trouble getting behind these iPad mini rumors. I just can't see why Apple would want to do something like this, but I guess only time will tell. And finally, a lost Steve Jobs interview has resurfaced and is now available to rent on iTunes for $3.99. The footage comes from a TV special called Triumph of the Nerds, and Steve Jobs sat for a full interview for the TV special, but only 10 minutes of footage was used for uh, the actual episode. And the rest of the footage was thought to be lost for years, but then the full copy was found in the director's garage and has since been, you know, uploaded to iTunes and all that stuff. And it's really interesting and it showcases a lot of what we love about Steve Jobs. He's driven, he's funny, he's smart. Uh, so I definitely recommend you guys check this out. Okay, well that's all the big news for this week, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, before I go, I'm going to leave you with a question of the day. And that is, which do you think is more likely? The A6 processor or the iPad mini? On the one hand, the A6 processor seems to me like it's a more likely and more logical thing for Apple to do, but this information is coming from a much less reliable news source. The iPad mini seems kind of insane to me, but it's coming from the Wall Street Journal. Uh, so both these rumors have their pros and their cons working for and against them, so I want to know which would you guys be most surprised to see and which do you think is definitely going to happen. You can let me know in the comment section down below or hit me up on Twitter at TIP underscore Jake. Uh, don't forget the links to everything I talked about in this video are in the description down below, so please go check those out. And as always, for more news, views, and reviews, don't forget to check out todaysiphone.com.